There we go, back to the actual action. Huh. Mr. Wright's not here today. He said his old foot injury was acting up. Okay. Old injury? He was all smiles yesterday. Yes, he smiled when he said we'd be fine as long as you're there, Trucy. Yes. Fine. We'll be fine. Here comes justice! I started my voice training at five this morning. Ooh, do some now. I want to see. Er, here. Please, Apollo, no. Don't don't make me scream. It's literally midnight. <laughs> don't, Apollo, don't do don't, this. Don't do it. Don't scream. let her scream. No. Scream. My name is Apollo Justice, and I'm fine. I think that's literally the loudest I can go without alerting anyone. I'm fine. I'm fine. You know what I'm saying? There he is. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, good morning. Yo, stop. This is literally just Hinata in the Ace Attorney universe. I, I will not be Pretty convinced much. otherwise. Hit me with the guilty verdict, G. See if I care. You just hang loose and let things go with the flow. Know what I'm saying? Uh, not really. See, that's the difference between me and you, old man. I ain't afraid of no cops. Real Gs can keep it real till they spend some hard time in the pen. You have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Fourth boss of the Kotaki family, Waki's father, wears an apron. Don't ask. The defendant, heir to the Kotaki family empire, and Alita Tiala's fiancé. And this is malpractice, then. Doesn't look like the guy to just steal a noodle stand. This guy is such a massive sigma, he just has his eyes blacked out. God damn. Yep. Or maybe it's just those are how big is it? I think that. Oh, no, no, I think those are his eyebrows. Surely not. What is it? It could just be epic shade. Now that you've said that, <laughs> I can't really Whoa. unsee it, but <laughs> surely that's not his eyebrows. My worst fears realized. The trial's starting, and I still haven't had a real talk with my client. Oh my god, he's an idiot. At I least love he's him. funny. Wait, it's. It's it's actually time for the trial. We're literally starting without anything. <laughs> oh no. Court is now in session for the trial of Waki Kataki. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Oh, there he is. Ready to rock and roll, air judge. Hair judge, oh man. Hair, oh, I should say hair, not air. The pr guy from yesterday. He's a prosecutor? Just like his brother? It's Mr. Gavin's brother. Actually, no. Christoph was a defense attorney, not a prosecutor. Oh. Long I time no see, Prosecutor Gavin. Were you taking a leave of absence? You know the little band I started in my free time? The thing is, we got real popular. Oh, I'm really excited for this one because I've seen some very fun animations of his. Oh boy. Try to say nine to your fans when three of your singles go platinum, yeah? Oh, he said yes and no in a single sentence. <laughs> you may give your opening statements to the court. Before that, I was thinking... Oh, the finger snaps, oh boy. Is the air in this courtroom not a bit... serious? It is a court of law. That's no way to get the crowd jumping, air judge. They're not supposed to jump! This is a courtroom! <laughs> Achtung, baby! Today we play it my way. Oh, there it is, the famous Achtung. Oh, listen to the theme. <laughs> Yo, the guitar? This theme is sick. I love this. The victim, Pal Maractus, director of the Maractus Clinic. The scene, Paper Park. He was found pulling a noodle stand. What in the world was a doctor doing pulling a noodle stand? Yes, I believe. You will only find that out by asking the defendant, right here, right now. Because it's an undeniable truth that he shot the victim. His crime was witnessed quite clearly, you see. Very well. Oh yeah, there was a witness. I wonder who it was. Please admit this witness to the court. Oh, well, there we go. Oh! oh there it is! Oh, look at him! <laughs> oh, I love that. Nine. Not yet. That is the I best animation it. I've seen so far. He is my favorite character so in this fun. game. What is it, Prosecutor Gavin? The motive, Air Judge. Why did Little Punk do it? Why did he kill the director of the Maractus Clinic? Not so fast. 
The defendant doesn't have to explain that. Oh? But what if the defendant specifically requests to do so? As he did this morning. Oh, God damn it, Walkie. <laughs> oh my god. I want oh, to no. give a shout out to all my homies, I believe he said. You know? <laughs> they always say that on stage you should hit the crowd with speed and ferocity. Nice thinking animation. Very cute. I like that. The court will now hear from the defendant concerning his motive in the crime. No, I wanted to see the witness, not Walkie again. So, you son, uh, the defendant. Walkie, are you? I ain't your son, old man. You stepped like a pocky. You best be prepared to step strong. You step to a public official. You'd best be prepared to step into jail. <laughs> well then, the court will now hear testimony of the defendant's motive from the defendant himself. All right, straight into the testimony. I'll tell you one thing. That doctor was a quacker. And now we have the actual non-choppy examination theme. Yeah. Finally. Nice. I was in his clinic about half a year ago. He messed up my op something bad. And then he just lets me go without a word. See you later, bye. Sounds <laughs> like malpractice to me. <laughs> Indeed. So I gotta go in, get another doctor patch me up again. That was the day I done figured it out. No OG's gonna let that pass. Oh gee, this guy is so intensely <laughs> cringe. That's why I went to his pad that night. Know what I'm saying? You're saying you were one of the victim's patients? A lot of stuff goes down when you're keeping it real on the street. True, Dad. <laughs> I tell you one thing, that dark was whack. His hair, <laughs> whack. His clothes, How do you whack. Do? The way that he walks, it's whack. So whack. Me, I'm tight as fuck. <laughs> How do you do, fellow kids? I can't believe this is the first time I'm hearing about all this. We're going to press everything, obviously. Obviously, there is no punishment for pressing. Literally no punishment. Except in very specific cases. Ah, oh, yeah. Except when it really matters. Isn't that a little harsh? He's your family doctor. Who asked you, pointy locks? Just who do you think you are? Uh, your lawyer? <laughs> <laughs> Someone had to show him what's what. Sure. Why were you so mad at the doctor? At this doctor? Yo, <laughs> sit back and listen while I drop it, J-Man. I fucking hate and love this guy. <laughs> so you were a patient at the Maractus Clinic half a year ago. For what reason? We had a little run-in with the Rivales family. That's when I pulled a jack move. Oh, god damn. <laughs> <laughs> And ran into an ambush. G busted a cap right into me. What the hell, man? <laughs> Why was that so violent? Shot. This guy <laughs> got shot. <laughs> this guy just got shot with such force. God damn. Apparently, he was shot in the heart. And he lived? What the fuck? Excuse that should me? kill him. Literally, Hinata. Mm. This guy has 20 yeah. defense and base. Bullet stopped just short of my thumper. You know what I'm saying? Would have been good in if it wasn't for that whack ass doctor. And then he just lets me go without a word. Alright. He's probably just pressing everything again just to gather information. What do you mean you just let you go without a word? What do you think it means? Is whack, that's what? I'm not sure what that means, but it sounds bad. Boomer Judge. It sounds <laughs> as though Herr Doctor wished to hide his mistake. Herr Doctor, yeah. Because <laughs> he has Doctor, not Doctor. Even spelled with a capital D. Excellent. Yes. But why did this mistake only come to light that day? It was found during the family health checkup. The f family checkup? That was the wackest thing of all. All this G's lining up, taking eye exams and all that. Better to die young than fade away, boy. A relief to hear. Eh? What's the relief? Oh, did your father not tell you? Uh oh, there's a problem. That bullet you carry so close to your heart, if not attended to immediately, it could kill you. No, Waki, no. Yes, Herr Dr. Maractus had knowledge concerning this ticking time bomb in you. Knowledge that could have spared your life. There is proof. 
your checkup report. Ah, more evidence. How ironic that you would kill the one man capable of helping you. All right. Quickly check out the report, I suppose. Walkie Kitaki, age 19, June 14th. That's all it says. Just metallic object found near heart. You're almost as careless as he was. <laughs> well, now that the place is hopping, let's get this gig started. We've had enough of a warm up act, yeah? Time to hear from the witness. Finally, let's go. Walkie sure is quiet all of a sudden. I'm a little uneasy myself. Is this Gavin's strategy? Who's the oh, witness? We didn't actually, oh, uh, what? This guy. An academic sort of fellow. So, you would tell us your name and occupation. Alright, here we go. No, I hate this. Alright. Uh, My name is Wesley Stickler. <laughs> okay, Squidward. Wow, Fates, well, you don't have to use your normal voice for this. <laughs> okay, interesting. Oh wait, well, he's one year older than me. A man concerned yeah. with truth. I think he's doing a Fates fanboy RP. I could be wrong. <laughs> Please testify to the court about what you saw on the night of the crime. You ask, quite simplistically, what I saw. However, we must understand that Homo sapiens possess two eyes. Each of these is designed to receive and interpret data, <laughs> sending images in the form of singles to... <sighs> <laughs> that night, I passed through the park on my way home from shopping. I saw them. I saw them quite clearly. Oh yes, the man facing the victim was the defendant. In his hand he held, yes, a pistol. It was pointed at the man putting the stand. Dramatic book slam. A shot. The bullet hit the man pulling the stand from the front, square in the forehead. That's not true, it hit him uh -huh, in the temple. We already got something. <laughs> we already got him on that. Was there anyone else in the park at that time? I can say with 100% accuracy, let me and just I flip. My lips. <laughs> Let me just flip through my book. Uh, there was not. This book contains all the answers to life, you see. Oh. Very well. Mr. Justice, you may cross examine the witness. Yes, Your Honor. Uh Chusey, why are you staring like that at the witness? Hint, Serene, it's about to be your line. Yeah, but I feel I've seen him somewhere before. Okay, okay just... so do we want to bother with pressing, or do we just want to chomp right at the bit? Well, I want to check the pistol first. Okay, I guess. Aim it at yourself, face. <laughs> I am about to do what is called... You should kill yourself. You should trolling. kill yourself. Now! Do I want to risk getting more insanely fast lines with this guy? Yes! On the way home from shopping, you say? Why go through the park? Let us consider the time saved by passing through the park on the way home from the store. In that time, I'm capable of solving two GMAT problem sets. What the hell is a GMAT? <laughs> I have no fucking clue. I think it's some. Oh, ergo, the time to complete two is on average six minutes, 48 seconds. However, in the case that the questions are in the verbal category, admittedly not... Th th that's enough. Uh, enough. I get the idea. <laughs> Mr. Justice, the court hopes to finish cross-examination sometime this month. <laughs> Cause of death, single bullets to the right temple and not to the forehead, Mr. Stickler. Is that you relaxing, I see, Head Justice? Huh? Oh, uh, ahem. <clears throat> Objection! Once is quite enough, Mr. Justice. Apollo, pace yourself! This trial's not over yet! Uh, uh, right. <clears throat> um, yeah, uh, look at this. Is there a problem with the autopsy report? Problem, problem... Yes! The problem is the location of the entry wound. You testified that the killer shot the victim square in the forehead, did you not? Ah, I have already determined your angle of inquiry. <laughs> Allow me to explain. It's quite simple, really. First, understand that when I say square, I speak not of geometrical absolutes. What do I mean by this? For example, the defection of a meter is... Oh, okay, I'm not going to voice that. The wavelength of the length emitted by crypton particles, as we all know. In addition, it is a well-known fact that crypton particles are rare and invisible to the naked eye, which points to a basic fallacy or a line of reasoning, namely, that what... Mr. Justice, was your objection to these... uh... crypton particle things? <sighs> Just look at the autopsy report. The location of the entry wound was... The right temple. That's a contradiction. Isn't it? Oh, I don't know, Mr. Justice. Is it? It is, right? Uh, finally. Oh. His voice, okay. Hair justice. Oh, hair justice. Yes. 
your tactics are outdated. Trying to shake the witness by objecting to trifles? Trifles? Excuse me? Hair forehead. Hair forehead. Ah, uh, forehead? Let us imagine you are walking through the park. You see two men facing each other, one with a pistol trained on the other. What would you do, Hair Forehead? I don't like this change of nickname he's, he's been giving. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I, I guess I would try to stop them. I'd probably shout, stop! And you, Fraulein? M me? Well, I'd probably scream, eee! And you, Hair Stickler? What did you shout, I wonder? Jinkies. No, this guy is definitely a brave soul. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you for jogging my memory. It sounds like an addendum to the testimony is acquired. A Night in the Park, Part 2. Part 2. As soon as the killer raised his pistol, I took action. Seize this at once, you two! I cried, with composure. Seize this at once, of course he would shout. <laughs> the victim turned in the direction of my voice, and a shot rang out. Whereupon our currently killer, the defendant, appeared to have become frightened. Tossing the pistol aside, he fled from the scene. I see. So you attempted to stop the crime. Indeed. With composure. Let us consider this new testimony, shall we? The witness, Mr. Stickler, was it? Stood here. He shouted, Oh, stop! <laughs> Please! Uh, something of this nature. And the victim responded by looking in the witness's direction. If the killer were to have fired at just that moment... Yeah, that makes perfect sense, actually. As we can see, the bullet would have struck the right temple, as in the report. Witness the power of a junior in Ivy University's Department of Science. Shut up. <laughs> Very well, Mr. Justice. You may cross-examine the witness. Serena, I have a distinct impression that you don't like this guy. For I, some think, I think he's slowly becoming Serena's favorite character. <laughs> so you saw a raised pistol. Weren't you frightened? It can be said we students of Ivy University know no fear. <laughs> <laughs> Copium. The moment I saw that pistol, my inner sense of justice compelled me to take action. You certainly were lucky. If I were in the killer's shoes, I certainly would have oh. left a witness behind. Oh god, Clavier. <laughs> hello? Clavier, hello. Uh -huh. He actually looks like he had no idea he was in danger. See, look at this guy, Serene. So selfless, he just jumps right into the, the line yeah. of fire. He's like a true admirable. hero. Tossing the pistol aside, he fled from the scene. Um, now this is the part that interests me because this is probably the part we actually where know from. where the pistol was found. Oh, two rounds were fired. Wait, country. two rounds were fired. Wait, two mm. rounds were fired? And they fingerprints were, were white. Maybe it isn't this line of questioning then. Did he say something about a single I... shot? A shot rang out. Yeah, maybe that's what... I don't what want to risk should... it. I'm going to press this one first. Uh... You didn't try to apprehend the criminal? It all happened so fast. I'm afraid I hadn't the time. Doesn't something about that strike you as odd, Apollo? So it might just be this one, actually. Huh? What? The killer was in a hurry, right? He fired the pistol and tossed it right away. In that case, I'd expect to find something that we didn't find. We do know that we found the knife at the crime scene. Supposedly the gun was also found there, but it wasn't there when we got there. He said one shot was fired, a, a shot. shot rang out, yeah. And according to the description of the gun, there were two shots fired. That's also my best guess. So I'm just going to go for it, I think. That's not correct. No. Okay. Nope. Threw the pistol aside. Well, oh, the sh there should be fingerprints, but there were none on the pistol. Yeah, exactly. They were wiped. He wouldn't have had time for that if he just threw it to the side. Mm -hmm. mm. There we go. Wait a second. Tsk, tsk. Another misleading request. Wait a second, you say? A second? Are we intended to wait just that? A single second? One sixtieth of a minute? That's hardly enough time to draw breath, let alone make a statement in court. Now, had you asked for a longer period of time, say three minutes, thirty-five seconds, the Mr. Justice, am I to understand you are objecting <laughs> to the length of a second? Yes. I mean, no. 
here, just look at the pistol. It doesn't have a single fingerprint on it. Ah, uh, a common ploy made all the more common, I fear, by the prevalence of television. Is this guy going to give a rant about technology, the industrial revolution no. and its consequences? <laughs> Wait, but you said the killer tossed the gun and ran. He didn't have time to wipe the gun for prints. Indeed. Ah, the little girl sticking it to the university student. There's a song in there. I'm sure the rest of you. I'm not little. <laughs> then let's think like adults, shall we, Fräulein? What if the killer, the defendant, was wearing gloves? That's, yeah, that's a good point. Gotta admit, I didn't think about of that, Apollo. Well, I did everything I could. <laughs> Thank you, well, Josie. Trial over. Well, what about the knife? Okay, he couldn't have, yeah, because thing. the knife is yeah. there. The record of the murder weapon is very clear about one thing. The fingerprints were wiped, which means some trace of prints remained. Which contradicts your testimony. Well, that too. Yeah, that too, I guess. That may be, but it does not change what I saw. The killer. The defendant. He threw down the murderous weapon from his hand and fled. And this pistol was found at the scene of the crime. Strongly suggesting that this was the weapon he disposed of. That sounds solid to me. Well, hair forehead, any of your precious objections? Gives Apollo! Let's see that voice training go to work! No, that's not. It's literally one. <laughs> I'm not going to scream. You know, I've only recently realized something. No matter how much you train your voice, it doesn't matter if you have nothing to say. Isn't it obvious from what the witness just said? Huh? Isn't what obvious? When he restated what he saw just now, he said he saw Walkie drop a murderous weapon. But that's not the same as being 100% sure of what Walkie threw away. He's just confused because a pistol was found at the scene. Poor Mr. Stickler. It must be hard to be so perfect <laughs> and yet so wrong. Goddamn. But well, it can be said that I'm quite offended. What we can say for certain is that the witness saw the killer throw something. Does the defense have anything to say about this? Well, if what he threw wasn't a pistol... Then what was it? Then it had to be something else. At least one person on the defense team seems to be thinking. Ugh. I'll wipe that smile off your pretty face, Gavin. <laughs> Perhaps you can inform the court as to the nature of this something else? Indeed we can, yes. Mr. J. We can all agree on the knife. Indeed. Is that a sword? <laughs> a sword? What era do you live in, Mr. Judge? <laughs> this knife was found at the scene of the crime, with the defendant's prints on it. This single piece of evidence proves two important things. One, that what the defendant threw down wasn't a pistol. Two, that the defendant wasn't wearing gloves. Oh, air forehead? You're forgetting two other things you've just proven. One, that the man the witness saw was the defendant, Mr. Waki Kitaki. Two, that the defendant was holding a knife with the intent of harming the victim. Uh oh! Hmm, indeed. Yeah, but like, oh, wielding a knife in itself isn't a crime, right? I guess out on uh, the street it is. It's, if, well, if you're threatening someone, it, it yeah. looks. This court is of the opinion that our witness is fond of making assumptions. <laughs> <laughs> In that light, I believe it would behoove us to hear about what really occurred. With less assuming, please. But that's, that's like our entire job as students. It is always the same with you people. Mark left the house on foot, and five minutes later, his brother left after him. How long would it take for Mark's brother to catch up to him? <laughs> assuming that Mark never had to stop for a traffic light. Yes, that's what I said. Assuming. As if that were a probable situation at all. Yet here you are assuming that my assumption is no better. <clears throat> what this court assumes is that the witness will testify as to what happened after the shot was fired. <laughs> Excellent assumption, Mr. Judge. I could not prevent the killer from leaving the scene. Nor could I simply leave the scene in good conscience. Ergo, I used my cell phone to call the police. Because I definitely have one. Until the police arrived at the scene ten minutes later, I saw no one else. Why didn't you chase the killer? He was, as you say, a killer. 
Of course, I could have run him down, yet what would he have done when cornered? Sadly, it takes more than an aptitude for solving quadratic equations to know that. <laughs> Did the testimony earlier not prove the defendant's presence at the scene? And do we not also now know that there was no one else there? It seems clear that we have our killer. Does it not? Does it not, Mr. Justice? I like how everyone is just against Apollo all the time. <laughs> oh, wait, I realize his name is Punny because he's a stickler for details. You were certainly composed for someone who had just witnessed the killing. If one is to devote one's life to the pursuit of science, one must never flinch at the sight of a little blood. Nor be so moved by a chemical discovery that one drops one's flask upon the lab room floor. Hmm... So nothing strange about how he acted. Until the police arrived at the scene, ten minutes later I saw no one else. Okay, so there's a ten minute window. Noted. Can you tell us in detail about these ten minutes? I stood in a state of heightened awareness. Anything could happen at any moment. Anyone could appear from any direction. Is that all? No one came. Nothing happened at all. I saw it all, which is to say, I saw nothing. So he just stood there, watching? Hmm, not much to go on there. Ah, <sighs> I can't find a single problem with that testimony. Well, enough at last, hair forehead. Maybe it's time to back off a bit. Let's see here. No way, we never well? back off. Come on, the defense still has some questions that demand answers, Your Honor. Hmm. Your opinion, Prosecutor Gavin? Oh, let him play attorney until he's satisfied, I say. I will amuse myself by composing my next smash hit in my head. So we have to re-review huh. everything he said to see if there's any light hole that can be prodded into it. Well, let's check the evidence. What do we have? We know there was a ten minute window in which he just did nothing. Mm. There's also the possibility that you just need to back off. Yeah. That might also be true. I think Trucy might step in if we back off. Maybe there isn't anything left to unravel in this testimony after all. Some of us have glamorous careers we'd like to get back to this month there, Forehead. They don't have enough to put Walkie away yet. Should I back off for now? Yeah, I think there's no point in pushing through. Ugh, there's nothing fishy about that testimony at all. There are any number of ways to explain the lack of prints on the pistol, I assure you. Perhaps the killer really was wearing gloves, which wiped the previous user's prints off. Then, after the deed was done, this fell out of his pocket as he was throwing the gun away. A mistake befitting of a small-time punk, in my opinion. I believe this brings the cross-examination to a close. This court will now declare a verdict for the defendant. Walkie to talkie. Well, that was short-lived. Oh. Oh, we gotta hold it. Juicy? Mm -hmm. Perhaps? Eek? Oh, I, I, excuse oh, me. What the fuck? What the fuck? Juicy? Nobody move. You sound like someone trying to cosplay like he Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> and, and <her> <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> oh no. There'll be no verdict in this court. Not yet. Wait, are you one of the Katakis? The Katakis? You, you mean the notorious gangsters? You don't want to see me give the pretty little girl a new smile. Do as I say. Holy fuck, oh, excuse me? Adjourn the court for 20 minutes. What? Recess. 20 minutes. Or I promise you, you'll regret it. Damn. Okay, he just disappears. And fucking vanished. W wait, how did he disappear so fast? Could Goodbye. he be one of those who slither in the dark? Come to the defendant lobby, Apollo! I suppose I have no choice but to adjourn for a 20-minute recess. Bayless, get that mysterious man. Okay, to be continued, that was a abrupt turn of events.